One of the basic things that you need to know to get any job that requires using a computer is some basic internet skills. So we're going to cover that with three different popular web browsers here and how to use them and how to search with them, which is really important. So right now we're looking at Edge, which is the default web browser that comes with Windows. And with the other browsers, they're going to have a lot of the same features. They're just going to look maybe slightly different for some of the options. So up at the top, you got a back button to go back to the previous site that you were on. There's a refresh button to refresh the page just in case there's something not working right and you need to reload that page. And then there's a home button that takes you back to the home page. And that could be any website depending on how you have this set up. There's also a bookmark button here so you can add that page to the favorites or bookmarks. So we'll have that, it's called Google and we can choose where we want this to go. It can be in your main bookmarks or your favorites bar or some other folders that you've created. I've already got some created here. I'm gonna just throw it up on the bookmarks bar and hit done and you can see that it's showing up here. All the web browsers will do the same thing. They even have an option up here. If you right click up here, usually you can tell it whether or not you wanna show the bookmark bar or not. If it's always showing, never showing, or only when you open up a new tab. Up at the top, you've got your favorites list here. And again, it shows you the favorites bar with the folders and subfolders and sites and any other websites that you might have listed under here. The tabs that we just saw about too, there was a message about that. There's a plus sign here, so you can add another tab. That takes us to our home page, And this can be programmed as well. So you can go back and forth between the two different tabs. So you don't have to close one site you're working on to work on another. In the past, it used to be that you had to open two separate web browsers, but that was just or two copies of the same web browser and that just chewed up a lot more memory. This is more efficient and uses less memory so you can have multiple tabs with multiple websites and go between them up here. And instead of closing the whole web browser down, you might wanna just X out using these X's and that closes that one tab. So then you can manage what sites you have open here. Also, you've got a menu option here. It's got three dots and the other browsers are very similar. We'll see them a bit later. And when you click in here, there's settings and they all have settings, all the web browsers. And when you go in here, you'll see that there's a list of categories where you can go through and change things such as how you're searching, what the start button does, the home button, and any new tabs, how they open and what site they go to. And there's all kinds of different options in here that we're not getting into in this video. But if you're not sure where something is and you know what it might be called, you can click in here into the search and it searches through the settings to find that option for you. There is no save buttons in here. So once you change something, it's automatically saved. You would just hit the X to close out of that tab and go back to your browsing. That was Edge, so let's have a look at Chrome. So Google Chrome, this is customized a little bit. We got some other stuff in the bookmarks bar up here, but if we see here, you also have a back button, a refresh, home button, and we also have the bookmarks button here where we can add the site we're on as a bookmark to the bookmarks bar or all the bookmarks or if we had other folders up there we can also do that. I'm gonna just cancel out of that. You can go in the three dots here and you'll see settings. And the same thing that we had before in Edge, there's all the different categories that you can go through or at the very top, type into the search to search through the settings and find what you're looking for. Finally, in Firefox, we'll also see a back button, refresh, home button, 
some other buttons up here there's also to add to the bookmarks you can choose where it's going to and what it's called and here we got what they call the hamburger menu instead of the three dots which the other two browsers have their three lines when you click into that you've got settings and here we've got categories with all the options or again find in settings so you can search through the settings to find what you're looking for so now that you know how to navigate between three different web browsers there's the searching which is what we use this for so there's a couple of things that you might want to do if we're going shopping let's see for a marketing course online and it's going to come up with some search results one of the things is you'll see sponsored showing for sponsored ads and we might not want anything sponsored so you would look down below for anything that is not sponsored and that might be something a little more uh, what you're looking for but besides the basic searching maybe we want to be more specific so let's see we've got something here free online marketing course with certificates now here it says digital marketing and it highlights it in bold with the keywords that we're looking for so digital marketing certification course uh, the spelling you can tell is a little bit different and they're not all in the right order so if we want to make sure that we got something with the certificate for example we can put this part in brackets and making use of quotes is one way to ensure that it has that exact string of key words which we don't currently have that showing at the moment so if I hit enter now we can see marketing courses with certificates that part is showing all together we also have free in there but we don't have the online part but it does have the keyword free which we were looking for it doesn't say online but it does have the other part here in brackets or quotes I don't know why I keep calling it brackets but you'll see as we scroll down through the rest here they're all going to be giving us the part that we had in quotes because that was the most important part of the keywords to us what if we want to exclude something so for example we'll go in here and we'll see that we got great learning at the top maybe we don't want that to show so I'll go in here add a space in a minus sign and say my great learning dot com so we're excluding that I'll hit enter now I got my search results pretty much exactly the same what I had but it's excluding that one now because I put in the minus sign to exclude it so that's your second search tip now what if we want to search through some other specific site like LinkedIn they've got some different courses on there let's clear all that out of here and what you can do is type in site colon and we're going to type linkedin.com so it's going to search linkedin.com add a space and then we can say marketing course <clears throat> now we can see all these search results are coming from linkedin and we got marketing courses courses marketing courses marketing marketing courses so it's got those keywords they're not together as a string but we can combine these two skills that we learned here or two of the three skills that we learned already and put this part in quotes and search again so everything on LinkedIn that has marketing course together as a string and we can see we're getting exactly that now so we're really getting specific in our searches now what if we want to search on here and say marketing and we'll put this in quotes too to make sure marketing asterisk so using that it's a wild card so we're going to see marketing with 
marketing to marketing goals so we're having the keywords we're looking for marketing certifications so something with marketing but it's all on LinkedIn so you can use that it doesn't have to be part of the site we just see marketing for more results I'm just kind of winging it here as we go but here marketing plan for more focused successful results marketing data regularly for more accurate results so we're using that asterisk so that we can kind of see what else would the wording be in that so we might not know what the words are we're looking for but we know what part of it is so that asterisk or wild card will fill in the blanks there and you'll basically get some suggestions that maybe using these skills that you just learned you can narrow it down even more let's say if we come out of here another tip here for you is looking for related websites so we got related colon and then we'll do LinkedIn again I'm gonna go with something else I tried earlier grantcardone.com that is another guy that's very good at marketing so the first thing comes up is his site but we want a related sites so further down here we'll see Instagram for Grant Cardone LinkedIn for Grant and we got uh, Facebook and X all these different sites that are related to that site so if you're doing some research and you want to find other sites that are related to this one that's another tip for you that can help finally just looking at basic security practices so you want to make sure that you're careful on what you click and that can turn into a whole video in itself and I've got other videos on my channel that get into that in more detail and how to identify scams and avoid clicking on something that's bad and verifying links before you click on them so you can search my YouTube channel and look under security category to see more videos on that but if you got to have an antivirus at least as well that protects you in several ways not just through the web browser but also making sure that the web browsers are up to date which should happen automatically and they all have through the menu here where we go to settings there's a help option and then under help there's about they all have the same thing when you click on about it tells you what version you're on and if there's an update available it immediately starts downloading and updating so that way you'll know that you're safer using the current web browser and of course making sure your Windows updates are working and you're always up to date that way there's so much more to do regarding security but I do have a course online as well and all that's linked through the description below this video and you can learn more about cybersecurity. but this video was learning some basic internet skills to help you navigate through three different popular web browsers and how to search effectively so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.